Alrighty, so video today is we're gonna prep uh, under the 33 body and apply the Sika underbody protection spray. So we'll take you through that process. We'll mask it up, clean it up, spray it on, see how it goes, um, and then go from there. background on what we've done to get the car to this point now is obviously got it up onto the hoist we had a look at where we had a bit of surface rust under here which luckily enough there wasn't too much so got the wire wheel out um, got back all the surface rust um, to bare metal um, to get that prepped um, once we've gone through the whole car once we had gone through the whole car um, we had to block off all of the threaded holes with masking tape. So we don't want the underbody protectant to get in there because it can be pretty thick and you'll probably have a bad time trying to fit your hardware once it's painted. Um, so we've done that. We've prepped washed everything just with a standard wax and grease remover. So there's a lot of hidden nooks and crannies under here. So take your time. Otherwise, if you're spraying on top of dirt, the product probably won't last as long. Wherever we've gone down to bare metal, which there's a couple of spots under here, um, we're gonna go over it with a little bit of primer. That's just some standard VHT primer. And then once all that's dried and set, we've got Sika underbody coating. So it comes in the pressure pack, which is what we got today. It also comes in a half a liter tin, which you connect an air gun and an air hose to and spray it on. That application probably is a little bit better, but I don't have a compressor on hand, so this is what we're gonna use. So hopefully it comes on all right. All the reviews say it's good. Um, we're sticking to the directions on the back of the can with the application, hence why we're primering and um, using the wax and grease remover. So the next steps now is we'll just do another walkthrough, make sure we've covered all of our thread holes, which there's a couple that I've got to fill in. Mask up and protect the shed pretty much, because this stuff will go around a fair bit and then start spraying. Alrighty, so we've masked up, we've got plastic sheets up just to avoid overspray going everywhere in the shed. So what we're going to do now is just do a walkthrough wherever we've got um, bare metal. We're just going to hit it with the primer and let that dry before we put the underbody coating on. So we'll just walk through now and do that.
uh, we'll see how we go. We'll start with the inside the guards and then we'll work our way down the car. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed.
bine de situații în șoară, că sunt Closing down the whole factory here. So let me make sure you see here. See how red it is? I think I said it's ready to be touched at the same time. Alrighty. Um, that's the job all done now. We've taken down all the drop sheets, pulled all the plugs out of the threads. This is the finished product. It's come up pretty good. Uh, for reference, it took between five and six cans of pressure packs if you're doing this at home. So make sure you've got six um, to be safe. Um, covered everything. The only bits that are missing is obviously where the hoist is on the rails. We'll just do that once it's down, once we put the rear cradle in. Um, but yeah, it's come up pretty good. 10 out of 10.